Hey, what's going on, Beard Gents, Beard Lovers? It's Main Life, and today we're doing a real quick uh, review of Dancing Goat Farms Billy Goatee Beard Oil. Um, this is an amazing company, an amazing product, small batch beard company out of Tennessee, and she's doing some amazing things, uh, not only for the, the bearded world uh, in general, but she's doing some amazing things before that when she was in the biker clubs uh, doing her thing with the bearded gents over there. This stuff is getting amazing reviews. I'm happy to be the one of the first ones that did an unboxing for her, and I'm happy to be one of the first ones to give her some exposure, and she's been getting exposure all over the place, and it's all positive stuff. Now, I wanna say something about uh, uh, the owner uh, particularly uh, that I think was, uh, well, I'll just say, I think it is a rare quality in, in, in uh, any kind of owner, and it's definitely something that turned me on to her company, and I will be repping her company for a long, long time. Uh, when she reached out to me and asked me to to uh, try her stuff, and I said, hey, listen, I'll try it, I'll unbox it, we'll do videos, um, and, and we'll get it out there. I'll give you honest feedback. And that's what she wanted. She wanted honest-to-God feedback if her product was good or not. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's why I promised I would do, just like I do everybody else. Um, she asked me, these are my scents, what ones do you want? And I said, no, no, you pick the scents. You pick them, you send them to me. And that's what she did. She went back, though, and did something that only a few uh, owners had done. And, and I'll mention a couple that have done it for me, but only a few that I know have done it. And she went back and she watched my videos before she sent anything. She watched my videos, she looked at my content, and she realized two things about me. One, I don't like tea tree. I can't stand tea tree scent, um, and, and, and it just turns me off in, in, in a beard uh, oil or a beard balm. Do not like it. Um, she noticed that one about me. And two, she noticed I need some tea tree because I have a dandruff problem in my beard. I have a dandruff problem on my head. Um, I have really bad eczema. So those two things she noticed about me right off the jump. Guess what she sent me? She sent me a cologne scent called Big Sexy, and then she sent me a tea tree, dandruff, uh, control, her dandruff control tea tree based um, oil. Now, knowing that I don't like tea tree, she altered the scent profile. When I opened it up, I was expecting it to, to and you've seen this in the review, in the unboxing video, but I was expecting a, a, a tea tree. She put peppermint in it. She offset the scent profile for me uh, to make it something specific to me, to the customer, um, and, and make it something that I'm gonna enjoy using and enjoy smelling. And the two scents go so well together, I don't even notice the, the tea tree. Um, I thought that was amazing of her to do, uh, to go back and really look at what it is that I, I, I enjoy. Um, and a couple of others have done it, and I'll give them a real quick shout out. Mike at Boston Beard Company has done it for me. Um, Tex over at uh, Barn Brand Beards has done it for me. Adam over at Honey Ocker has done it for me. Um, and, and I'm probably missing a couple. But it, it's a rare quality, folks. It's a rare quality for an owner, um, and those guys have done it, uh, to do that kind of stuff, to, to really get to know your customer and, and try to uh, uh, do something just for them uh, in order to get them a fuller, better beard, right? Uh, so I needed to give that shout-out one more time. I know I explained that about uh, her in the unboxing video, but I wanted to say it one more time about her because she's done some amazing things for me, uh, and I will keep digging her product uh, and keep sharing her all over my social media because I believe in her product, and we're going to hear about why. So when it comes to her dandruff control, mine's almost empty. Um, my dandruff control is almost empty. I've been using dandruff, her dandruff control since she sent it to me. Um, I use it every night, whether I'm going to work at night or whether I'm going to bed at night. Um, I am using that dandruff control, and it's been keeping my beard flake free. It really has, and it's a great product. I've only used it, not used it, for a week and a half when I was trying out another product that someone had sent me, um, asking me to try something that they believed would help with my dandruff, um, and it kind of did. We'll get to a review video on that later. Um, so I had to not use the the uh, Billy Goatee's uh, dandruff control, but I quickly jumped right back into it last week when I was done with that uh, one-week trial on the other product, and I'm still using it, and I'm almost out, and I will definitely be going over there and picking up some more. Um, it's a great, great oil. It does everything that you want a, a dander control oil to do. Um, it medicates that that that, uh, that's, that irritated skin. It starts to heal. It starts to hydrate, and it locks in the moisture, right? It's a great, great oil. Uh, the other oil that she sent me was Big Sexy. Now, you'll notice I haven't used that as much, um, but it's another great oil, um, and it's doing everything an oil needs to do uh, for your skin and for your beard. Um, so in terms of oils, they're both great. Scent profile, um, like I said, I love her dandruff control and what she did for me for it. And she already knows when I order my next when I order my next one, it's going to be the same thing. Now, 
she's already offered to put another cent in there to offset that um, tea tree. Maybe I'll try something else. Um, but I'm definitely buying some more of her dander control. She's got a, a very nice complex blend that she puts into it, and it's doing amazing things for my chin, my chin uh, dandruff. Uh, when it comes to Big Sexy and, and that cinch profile, um, I'm going to say something that, that uh, I critiqued her on, and, and I'll mention it here, obviously. Um, but I don't think it's a bad thing, but I know a lot of you would. And that is when she sent me a, a Big Sexy for the first time, this was one of her first batches of it, and it uh, was very light in the scent profile arena, right? It wasn't a, a heavy scent. It wasn't a strong scent. Um, it was very, very light, a very light cologne scent, um, one that you could almost miss uh, on any given day. For me, that's a good thing. I like some oils that are light, um, that are, uh, in terms of uh, their scent profile, not strong, not uh, overwhelming, uh, but I know a lot of you enjoy a nice, hearty, strong scent. So that was my critique to her. That Big Sexy just wasn't uh, probably going to be that strong uh, smell that she needs and to market. So I told her, you, need, you probably want to step that up a little bit. Um, and I've seen the reviews from Hillbilly. I've seen the reviews from That Metal Guy 1983. And she has stepped up the scent profile game uh, and made it a lot stronger. So Big Sexy for me, it's a nice, light cologne scent. Um, but I know that she's altered a little bit since I've uh, been using it and to make it a, a lot stronger. So the scent profile is definitely um, on its game when it comes to Big Sexy. When it comes to price point, price point's important for a lot of us. Uh, none of us have a ton of money, or a lot of us anyways don't have a ton of money, to be pouring into um, our beards and, and really uh, be just blowing cash. I think that uh, Dancing Goat Farms' beard oil is probably undervalued. Uh, she sells it for $10, or $10 for a one, one ounce bottle. Um, and that's a one ounce bottle. She charges $10 for it. Um, and I think she's probably underselling herself a little bit, but I get what she's doing. She's trying to make a name for herself out here um, and she's not trying to uh, price gouge people. As we all know in the beard world, beard oils at one ounce bottles are going for 15, 18, some $25 a bottle. Um, I definitely think that her her, her product is quality enough to be in that range, that $18 to $20 range, especially in that $14 to $15 range. Um, but she's selling it for $10. I think that's great. Get over there. Get some of her product. Uh, I'll close with saying this. She is a, a top-notch um, small, small beard batch company. There is nothing wrong with any of her scents. And she's got stuff coming out in the future. She's got, she wants to release some washes. She wants to release some balms. Um, and I believe she's been talking about some butters. So she's doing some big things over there, but she's a top-notch company. Do not let her $10 a bottle uh, oil throw you off and think for a second that she's not in the game uh, in a serious, impactful way. She is. She's just trying to make a name for herself. She's been making a name for herself in, in the uh, biker community, uh, the bearded biker community, and now she's trying to release to, to, to everyone else. Um, so she's only selling it for $10 a bottle. Get over there and get yourself a bottle of Dancing Goat Farms uh, Billy Goatee Beard Oil. It's worth the $10 investment. Um, you're not going to be disappointed. She's a top-notch company. Um, I'll link below uh, her, her, her uh, Instagram. She's still taking orders uh, out of her messenger. I don't think she's created a, um, a website yet. So everything is still going through messenger. So get over there. Check her out. You don't need a promo code. It's $10 a bottle, and, and you're going to love everything about her company. Get over there. Check out Billy Goatee. Uh, Dancing Goat Farms is beard oil. All right, guys, stay bearded.